Admiral Nimitz commanded the Pacific Fleet. That means he was top dog responsible for half of the fighting during World War II. How did he become such a great leader? And what was this guy all about? We went over to the National Museum of the Pacific War in Fredericksburg, Texas to talk to General Hagee about Admiral Nimitz. They have lots of cool things over there from World War II, like airplanes, a PT boat, and the interior of a destroyer. All of this stuff was used by the U.S. Navy at the time, and most of the sailors weren't much older than us. Admiral Nimitz was born here in Fredericksburg, Texas, and spent the first six years of his life here. Before he was born, his father unfortunately passed away, and his grandfather, who owned a hotel here, became his father figure. His grandfather had also served in the German Merchant Marine. And he gave Admiral Nimitz advice. He said, the sea is a lot like life. It is tough. You have to study and learn as much as you can. Do the very best job that you're capable of doing. Most importantly, do not worry about things that you cannot control. Nimitz's grandfather taught him three important life lessons. First, not to be afraid of hard work. You won't believe what he did to get into the Naval Academy. In high school, he divided his time at home between studying and doing the chores. He would get up early in the morning, study, do the chores, go to school, come back, do the chores around the hotel, and then study again. He knew that since his family was quite poor, he was probably not going to have the opportunity to go to college. He wanted to become a surveyor, but he saw some army cadets on maneuvers in and around Kerrville like their uniforms and realized that if he went to West Point, he could go to college and the government would pay for it. When he contacted his congressman, the congressman told him that all the West Point slots were gone, but he had a competitive examination for the Naval Academy coming up in April. Time was about January, so he got up earlier, around 3.30 in the morning. He would study for the competitive exam, then he would study for high school, then he would do his chores, then he actually ran to school to ensure that he stayed in physical shape, and when he came home, he would do the chores, he would study, for high school and he studied for the competitive exam going to a bed around 11 o'clock and then he would do it again the following day. In April, he went down to San Antonio and he took this competitive exam and he came out number one and he ended up going to the Naval Academy in 1901. He worked like a dog and didn't let anything stop him. I've got to step up my game. And for the second life lesson, believe it or not, Admiral Nimitz loves to tell this story about a huge mistake he made. When Nimitz was at the Naval Academy, they had just completed a new set of barracks called Bancroft Hall. And the first class midshipmen thought it would be a good idea to have a party. And they also thought it would be even a better idea to have some beer, even though it was not allowed at that time. So they cut cards to decide who was going to go out in town and get the beer, and Nimitz lost. So he took a suitcase and he went out to a tailor shop that was known for providing beer to uh, discerning customers, and went in and was loading up his suitcase with beer, and he noticed another gentleman also uh, picking up some beer. He went back to the Naval Academy, they had a great party. The next day, he went into class and the gentleman that he had seen in the tailor shop picking up beer happened to be a lieutenant commander that was teaching his class. And much to his surprise, the teacher never said anything to him about being out there picking up beer, which was against regulations. The lieutenant commander didn't bust him, but decided to give him a break. He realized how close he came to being kicked out and decided to obey the rules from then on. And then he learned to overlook the mistakes of younger officers. I'm impressed. I don't have to call everybody out all the time. He learned a third lesson from his grandfather. As a young officer, Admiral Nimitz messed up big time. Let's see how he handled that. He was commanding officer of a ship in the Philippines as a young ensign. At night, he ran it aground on a sandbar. 
He tried hard to get that ship off the sandbar because he knew this was not really good for his career, but he was unable to move it. So he remembered his grandfather's advice, don't worry about things you have no control over. So he went down below, grabbed the cot, set it up on deck, and went to sleep. He was in fact court-martialed, and he stood up and said, I take responsibility, I did it. He was found guilty of dereliction of duty, and he was reprimanded. Pretty brave. Instead of quitting the Navy, he learned from his mistakes and decided to pursue his career. So a big lesson he learned is his mistakes don't have to define him. I've got to remember that one.